Hello everyone, Andrew here. Thank you all for tuning in. And today we're in Seto Corsa doing something that I really want to do in another sim, and that sim is iRacing. Obviously we're in Seto Corsa because we're driving on a current track that we can't do in iRacing, and that is we're driving Super Formula. Obviously we can drive Super Formula in iRacing. It is my favorite car in that service. But we're driving at a track that isn't on iRacing, and that track is Sugo. Now Sugo is probably not well known outside of people who are fans of Japanese racing. Uh, for some reason it's not in a lot of racing games like it's not in gran turismo for example but this track is i think one of the best it's easily one of the best tracks in the world i think it's fast it's tight it's twisty it's a very short lap but throwing a car around here is just fun so anyway like i said we're in the super formula this is the rss mod that came out a few years ago this is actually based on the 2022 regulations uh the car we have in our racing is based on 2023 regulations i hope rss update this to the 2023 aero kit because i think that'd be a very good addition to so of course i mean this car is a very good addition to a so of course but it would be nice to get the updated version and i've assembled a grid here with the 2022 liveries now i'm driving as rotomo miata if you don't know this guy's name keep an eye out for him he's the 2023 super formula and super gt champion he's going to be racing in formula 2 next year he's also going to be racing in european le mans and doing the endurance rounds for the Vassar Sullivan Lexus GT3 team in IMSA. He's rapid, he seems like a nice guy, and he's a 10k iRacer, so we have to root for him. Also, a little bit of trivia, the team we're driving is Tom's. If you were, if you recall the Castrol Supra JGTC car that we all know and love, that was also the Tom's Toyota team, so it's the same team, so there's a little bit of uh, Japanese racing trivia for you. Also, I just say that I did intend to do this video in VR, but unfortunately, the Oculus software isn't agreeing with my PC. It keeps telling me to plug the DisplayPort cable in, even though it is plugged in. So hopefully that gets sorted out soon. I think it's a software issue, which is a shame, because I think that this, this track in VR is awesome. Anyway, I've spoken enough. Let's get to the race. Here we are then, starting from the back of the grid at Sugo. Six lights in first gear, clutch in. Now, lights down, away you go. Bouncing off the limiter there, this car. A lot easier to get off the line than this Iris and Council part. AI is checking up a little bit. Want to give the AI a bit of a wide berth here. You know what? SSO Corsa, lap one AI is like. Looks like I've made up one position already. Okay, that's. <laughs> anyway, yeah, like I said, you know what AI, uh, Esso Corsa AI is like? I've just uh, overtaken someone through the SS chicane there. Okay, tried to overtake me and paid the price. You can't see, but in my mirrors, the car went round. Anyway, onto the back stretch for the first time. Should have been a push pass there, but it doesn't matter. And unfortunately, we can't blur out the center halo column. You only take the halo off completely, which I think looks a bit weird. So I've decided to leave it on. On to this awesome final corner. That was not a bad overtake, I don't think so. Flat, uphill, almost a bank turn, pretty much. And that is one lap of Sugo. My AI is coming back around. Contact made again. AI has no chill here, man. Now we're doing a 15 lap race. I can't remember if I said in my intro it was going to be 10 or 15 laps. By the way, it's a 15 lap race, which I think you kind of need to do on a track like this. It's just, the lap time is so short, it's barely a minute. Onto the back stretch, using my push to pass. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Shit, I don't have it mapped. So that's going to be interesting. So in this car, you have 10 uses of push to pass, which basically you can only use on full throttle. AI lifting through the final turn here. All right, it's got to stay in this stream then if I can't use my push to pass. With this double right hander for turn one. It's pretty much all one corner. There's Giuliano Alessi 
John Lacey's son, my Tom's Toyota teammate. Just dispatched him. On the back of this Red Bull car, this Team Yugen. Actually, no, I don't think it was Team Yugen in um, 22. The Red Bull car. It is now. I believe it's Ryo Hirakawa, I think, but I might be wrong. Oh, I dive down the inside. Oh, he's still there. He got pushed out wide a little bit. Car's gone off, car's gone off. Whoa, my... I don't know if that showed up on my center monitor, but that car just went into space. My God. <laughs> Man, AI. So, of course, it never disappoints. There's a car there somewhere. All right, turns. One really urges you to take more throttle. These two right-handers downhill and then uphill. Lots of elevation change on this track, but it's the it's the good kind of elevation change, you know. It never feels like it goes against you, against the car. It's the type of elevation change that just kind of gives the car more more grip more speed more confidence oh man I left it way too late there yep he's come back on me oh wow I really messed that up there's a permanent yellow flag on I don't know what that's for right final corner I'll try not to Get caught up by the dirt, yeah, too much. Let's go on push to pass. I don't have my maps rather annoyingly. Oh no, wrong button. Okay, we do have a map. Awesome. I might have a bit of an advantage now because you've only got 10 uses of it. It's a 15 lap race and we're on lap five already through the S chicane. Car feels the car goes light, but it still feels nice to throw the car in through the rainbow curve. Like I said, a lovely name for a corner. Onto the back stretch into this heavy braking zone. Probably the best overtaking zone on the track. Another yellow flag. I bet that's for the car that went into orbit, wherever it is. But I had to break there. The AI, it seems, doesn't really know the best way through this final turn. Oh, wrong button. Okay, I'm on my pass. Into turn one. That was a very assertive overtake, I think. To this corner. So I don't actually know what any of these sort of corners are really called. I, all I know is that's the S chicane. And then, not this corner, but this corner is Rainbow Curve or Rainbow Corner. Like I said, really nice name for a corner that. Normally, it's sort of Western circuits, they're all either corners called corner names like. In the UK, you'll have names like Chapel or Chadlington's. <laughs> and then, like, in the US, they're called, like, The Killer, The Bitch, which is a real corner name on VIR. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Go save my push to pass. Go save it for the back stretch. Turn one. You gotta think of these two right handers as, uh, Really, one corner. And these two left-handers. Very different characteristics. I've run out wide there a little bit. All right, I've got, I've got the inside here. Are we breaking at the same time? I'll have the, the line for rainbow. 
Yep. That takes care of him. My bomb push pass is going to go down the inside. Still there. Oof. Fair play. You don't often see good racing from your set of course or AI like that. But it is nice to have it when you do get it. So I have made some setup tweaks. Just some changes to the anti roll bars, camber, just to give the car a bit the car a little bit more pointy. It's very user friendly this car. If you're looking for a high power open wheel car in a set of Corsa, they don't have to do much too to get it feeling nice. Then this is your car. There's a little bit of contact there, real life. I would have lost my front wing, fortunately. This isn't real life, so I don't have to worry about that. Keep pressing the wrong button. I don't know why that's my push to pass button. I have a button labeled DRS I use for push to pass, and for some reason I haven't mapped it to that one. Contact, he's hooked. AI is not giving this one up. Okay, fair enough. Okay, or oh, he just... He just... He just breaks! Why, AI? Well, I don't have to worry about him, then. Alright, so we're on... Lap 9. Got a bit of clear air now, so I can... Really push the car. That was... Toshiki Oyu. Well, Tashiki. I don't know why you why the AI is breaking for that final corner. Typically the AI races this track quite well, but there are some oddities like the breaking in the final corner that I just don't really understand. But nevertheless, we're still in it. Oh man, big lockups. Coming into that corner. Alright, flat out now. Alright, maybe not have to lift turning too early. Alright, push pass on this main straight. Keeps me up to as we keep up with the this pack. I'm gonna send it down the insides into turn one. AI is gonna drive into me. Gonna have to stay behind him. Through that turn, through the chicane. I believe that's uh I can't remember his name yet, yeah, um Naoki Yamamoto, I think. Uh Jensen Button's teammate in Super GT in 2018. I believe that's him in front of me. I can only tell by the yellow helmet. Oh, was he driving the Dokomo car? Oh, I don't know. My knowledge of Super Formula ha has got better, but I, um, I'm still... There's a few gaps in my knowledge. Oh, come on, turn. Alright, I might be able to get two for one here. The AI seems to have run out of push to pass. They've been using it every single lap, so... Okay, that is a set of course AI. In a nutshell, through and through. Now, if this was iRacing, that would be an immediate DNF. Oh, uh, all these positions. Oh, well. Let's get back to it. I've got pushed fast, AI doesn't. It don't use that curb because you'll hook hook the car and you'll bounce and this car don't like that. It's an open wheeler, not a GT car. So yeah, Sugo, hope this uh, video is sort of showing how awesome this track is. There will be a mod a link to the mod in the description. And to the car into the skin pack. Highly, highly, highly recommend. 
recommend you add all three to your set of course uh, directory directory folder whatever yeah and suko is a bit of a weird one because it's just kind of absent from sim racing and, and racing games like i honestly i think it's in project cars project cars 3 randomly but it's not in any other game like i've mentioned it's not in i racing it's not even in Gran Turismo. That really doesn't make sense to me. They won't push pass. I think Gran Turismo is missing Okiyama as well. And it's never had Okiyama. Oh, Amatege. Yeah, I love making contact. Come on, get a move on. Only a few more laps. So yeah, the Super Formula and iRacing has been my favourite car. That's been added recently. I love racing it. And unfortunately, we are only missing two tracks to make up a full calendar. Those being Sugo, obviously, and Autopolis. But I have a sneaking suspicion that both of those tracks are coming to the service next year. Just from a, a post that I think uh, Greg Greg Hill posted in the forums about how the team has been to the Far East and stuff. Oh, man, this car's so fun. Hope I'll fair mad this to their set of course of races. Kind of all over the place now. I think I've left tire wear on and the tires are starting to feel a bit secondhand. Alright, one push to pass, so I should play this Dokomo car. Obviously a super formula race here as well. Highly recommend you check out all series. Super Formula and Super GT, if you aren't familiar with them already. And also, have a look at some of the onboards from Sugo in real life. The track is wild. It's like... I don't know, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of Brands Hatch a little bit. Brands Hatch and Alton Park, like, combined almost. Just the narrowness and the vibe. It's very much a club circuit. But these cars race here. I mean, a Super GT, GT500 car, is faster than, than a, a Le Mans hypercar now. Like, and, and they race here. And how, you know, think about how mad that is. Are you supposed to get past this guy? Okay, we're on our final lap. Can we make up some more positions? I love this opening section, the double right-hander into the sweeping left-hander, into the slow off-camber, left into S chicane. It's just such a satisfying sequence of corners to navigate. Well, down too many gears. Backstretch for the final time into this heavy braking zone, not close enough to make an overtake, sadly. These grandstands must be a great place to sit and watch a motor race. And this awesome final corner, flat out uphill, almost like a banked cut turn pretty much. Oh, we're on side, are we going to have him? He's got slipstream from the Mugen car ahead. I don't think it's going to be enough. 16th is all we can do. Oh, okay. <laughs> but there we go, guys. That is Sugo. In a set of Corsa. In a Super Formula. iRacing. If you're watching, you're definitely not. But if you are, if you haven't already, please scan this circuit. It's awesome. And I really think, not just in a Super Formula, I think LMP3, Formula 3, Formula 4, the Mazdas, PCC would all be awesome here. And I think the community would be very, very receptive of this circuit being added 
to iRacing and Autopolis. I was there is a version of Autopolis in our, in a set of Corsa. I, I could do a separate, as another video. Unfortunately, that version isn't very good, so that's why we're only doing Sugo. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.